Greetings YouTube, I'm Master Moses, and welcome to a Pokemon Showdown match. I'm here with Prince B, and go ahead and let him know what we're doing today, Prince B. Uh, hey everyone, uh, as he said, I'm Prince B, and uh, basically we're here, uh, as you all probably know, uh, Generation 6, uh, XY, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are wrapping up as we head into Gen 7 with Sun and Moon. And so we were thinking it'd be a cool little way to celebrate Gen 6 by doing some random battles. Uh, six of them, in fact. Uh, and so we're going to be doing uh, two random battles and a monotype challenge, uh... Another type of challenge, which we've dubbed The Last Stand. We'll get more into that on that actual episode. And then uh, two more battles, one more casual, which we've dubbed for fun. And then our ultimate battle with our full teams from Gen 6, which we've dubbed for glory. Uh, so, yeah, I think that about covers it. Anything else you'd like to add? Nothing comes to mind. Um it does stand out that with six battles for six generations, it seems like a good way to wrap it up. So without further ado, I suppose let's launch on in. All right. And so uh, as you can see here, this is the first of the two random battles, and we've got uh, two grass-type Pokemon going off first. Um and unfortunately, due to the recorder, you may see in advance a few by a second or two what move I'm going to be picking. This is for the viewers, mind you, not you, Prince B. But it should hopefully not make too big of an impact. Oh, wow. I, I to, Just I'd like to point out I don't really use uh, Showdown that much. I didn't even notice that the levels were randomized to it looks like. They are. It's one of the nice perks that I like about Showdown is that to help balance out potentially more powerful or less powerful Pokemon, they assign a level to each one. That way it puts it at a closer to level playing field. That makes sense. Uh, all right. I have to just look at these moves real quick. Uh, we'll just go. Yep. Ooh, that hurt more. Ooh, that... Oh, and the burn, too. Oh, gosh. Uh, so, uh, while we do this, I was I figured we'd do a little discussion. Why don't we start off? Uh, what was your favorite mechanic from Gen 6? You know, that's honestly a hard call. That'll be our question of the day. Ah, gosh, that is a hard call. Uh, I'd have to... Uh, honestly, I liked the horde battling. It's kind of a quirky uh, yeah. i don't know it's quirky it definitely sped up ev training uh definitely and it just i i enjoyed the idea of facing off against five foes i'll be at five un under level foes but and what about yourself yeah see armaldo i didn't really like you <laughs> i don't think anyone did uh, th there's some Armaldo fans out there, I'm sure. I'm sure there's all three of them, but... Oh, uh, I also wanted to point out, we're going to be trying to use... Uh, there's For our later matches where we didn't choose the Pokemon that... W or where we did choose the Pokemon that we're using, uh, where we actually designed our teams ourselves, we put a limit on ourselves where we can't uh, have overlap on those Pokemon. So I can't just run a Gardevoir on all four of my teams that I'm choosing. Tempting uh, though you would Pokemon find it. That were, <laughs> but Pokemon that were randomly chosen for this by the randomizer itself are okay to have on our later teams. After all, that would be an unfortunate incident if you got randomly picked like three quarters of your team. Yeah. I don't even know how you get three quarters um, of a 6 team. That's for my team. favorite mechanic from Gen 6, it was definitely uh, the introduction of the fairy type. I mean, I feel like that's my favorite type. I just kind of have to go with that on principle. Uh, definitely helped balance out the dragon type, which were kind of rampant. Fairy became a little overpowered. I still think I should resist fairy in the interest of balance. But definitely fairy type is my favorite uh, introduction or 
change in mechanics for Gen 6. Absolutely, that is definitely high up there, and I, I agree that it helped balance out. I'm glad as well that it helped give a little bit of support to Poison and Steel. They were kind of lagging behind for a while there. Definitely. Uh, Poison and Steel, pretty good defensive typing, but pretty terrible offensively. Uh, just about anything Steel hit super effectively, like Fighting or Rock could do better. Uh, kind of the same deal with Poison. Uh it hit like grass, but bug could or, or uh, yeah, bug or flying could both do that better. Fire did it better, so it's just nice to see some of those uh, unloved types getting a little bit of a buff. Absolutely, it definitely um, completely absolutely. changed the meta game, really overnight. We'll head off with a toxic. Uh, oof! I forgot that Rena close carries a uh, focus blast. But let's get back to the match itself. Uh, we've both. I've lost what two Pokemon, three Pokemon now. Uh, you're leading in that regard, but I've got a, a bit of damage on some of your Pokemon. Exactly. Hey, um, I might have the advantage numerically, but you've got a strategic lead at the moment. We'll see how long that lasts, though. I I really don't know these Pokemon <laughs> at all. Uh, the only one of these that I've used even remotely is uh greninja yeah uh, my team all is these other new. like oh, go ahead. uh torterra i chose i've done run-throughs of gen 4 with uh empoleon and infernape never used torterra uh umbreon not my go-to evolution armaldo not my favorite fossil just just none of these pokemon are ones that i ever use so it's kind of interesting to see some of these ones that I haven't used before. Exactly. That is one of the things I like with the random battles is that it forces you to get outside of your comfort zone. There will be some familiar aspects, but for the most part, they change it up a good bit. And let's see. Oof. Entei, no. This Entei is going to be like the death of me. I don't know, maybe it's just an illusion by the unknown. In one of the most random plots <laughs> ever. I, I, I liked that movie as a kid. I, it wasn't my favorite movie ever, but I just thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, definitely a lot of eye candy. The Pokemon movies always have a lot of that, where it's just big, bright attacks that look really cool. So exactly. That's always fun. Ooh, this mm. does not bode well. All right. Gonna Oof, duh, what do I want to do? Hope for the best here on this one. Ooh, that stung. But this should hopefully... Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yep, I'm out. This is my last one, so... This is all I've got to work with, and... I'm going to hope lucky for the best me, here. I, my toxic spikes are actually messing me up here, so... It also yeah. throws me off that I don't even know most of the stats on a lot of these less commonly used Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, like that ice messed up a lot of my moves. Uh, Arcanine and Vileplume both had like recovery moves based off of weather, like Synthesis and Morning Sun. Hail messes up both of those, so oh, good. <laughs> uh, oh, wow. I think you've got this. I can. My only attacking move is Giga Drain. Yeah, that might not do so well in this situation. I'm gonna hope for the best with de -le -le whoop here. <laughs> uh, still, uh, I think that was fairly close. Fairly close. Absolutely. I mean, eh, down to the last one on each side. I mean, that. I love random battles just because they are so unique, and it's almost a mental test to see how flexible you are. Definitely. Uh, so that'll be it for this episode uh great battle great job master moses thank you and better luck next time but uh, coming up uh, soon go ahead and head on over to prince b's channel uh, subscribe there because our next battle is going to be going up over there we're going to kind of alternate back yeah. and forth and yeah i did forget to mention we're taking turns on these so half of these will be on master moses channel and half of them will be on my channel we'll go ahead and throw up some links and uh we'll see you guys next time Thank you for watching, as always. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Master Moses.
signing out. And Prince B. Signing.